I guess we're winging it now. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Fire Storm, and we are back with another recreate. It's MZ, and uh, it still does not roll out the tongue very well. But we're starting off with Chapter Six of Path of Radiance. So we're gonna get right into it because it's a very big map. Uh, 23 by 17. Well, 17 by 23 actually. It's horizontal by vertical, right? 17 by 23. And since we're extending it, it's uh, 21 by 27 for us, and that's quite a lot. Also, you may have noticed at the end of the last episode, ha, just kidding, you probably never watched it, but, you know, I said that uh, I had a story to tell about this one, so while I get this started, maybe I should talk about that story. That story is the fact that uh, I've actually recreated this map before. Believe it or not, I've actually recreated this map before. Um, let me count this, hold on. Well, down on the right side and 11 on the left side, which means that this one has to be 13. 13 and 14. Oops. That's not doing that. Okay, I'm just using the wrong one, okay. Finally. <laughs> and then we go across from here and we go down one. Because I'm not counting that all over again. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I've actually recreated this map before in one of my games as like sort of like a bonus feature. Like bonus map. The thing is, it didn't really come into fruition because I never completed any of my games. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna drop this by four, and I'm gonna drop this by one right here. So there's actually a bridge right here, which is why I'm not covering it, but I'm gonna have to cover water anyway, so there's that. Uh, I'm gonna well just start on the bridge anyways. Actually, isn't this supposed to be five? Oh wait, no, 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 this is right. It's something like this. And we go... See, I'm looking at the, at the large map right now, so I'm doing this literally off on the spot. Because there's actually no, there's also another bridge over here, too. Oh wait, actually, since it's... This should actually be to the right. This one goes over here. Although it does continue to the right, so it actually but it actually goes something like this. Three up. Yeah. We'll work on that later. For now, we'll be working on this bridge section, which is four tiles tall. We're gonna take all this water right here. Gonna go well we're just gonna go all the way to the end right here. Which isn't a smart decision, but now let's actually go. So this isn't actually. Well, we should probably start uh, going with the uh, individual map segments, so I don't get very confused here. Because you know that's definitely gonna happen. So the reason why this map might actually seem. So I don't think this is gonna take more than an hour for one specific reason, and that's the fact that this map is full of bushes. I wish I was kidding. The problem is I don't know which ones are bushes and trees because I think that literally to see that you just have to hover over the tile and see the terrain type. And I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm just gonna make them all bushes. Hey, look at that. Although I am just gonna put moss underneath all of them. Or grass underneath all of them because I can. Okay, um so there are trees that, I'm, I'm gonna assume that trees go beyond the left by two and beyond uh, up by two, so it doesn't really matter what we put here. This actually goes very close to the end, near the end, except the fact that we added two squares, or it's two tiles to the right, so we're not gonna go all the way to the end. Um, we're actually gonna 
Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have put grass on the bottom. So going off the small image here, there's actually a lot of trees. I guess that's obvious. But it's something like this. I'm not going in I'm not gonna do every single individual score because that's strange. It's very strange. I'm just saying. But it looks something like this. There are some areas where it actually does not go like a staircase, but more like a, a long one of the staircases that like in the middle, it has uh, it gives you a little bit of time to walk like straight and not up or down. I don't really know how to explain that. It gives me really hard to count actually. Here. Here. This is actually giving me a headache. Um, this is not good. Let's actually start from the bottom because that makes it easier. Am I right? It probably is gonna make it easier. So we go four to the right here. Two to the right. One up, one up. One up, one up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think there should be a double right there, but well, that's not good. Okay. It doesn't really matter what I put here because I'm probably just gonna fix it in the end anyways. So I'm just gonna do it literally just a staircase. I'm gonna fill this in because I don't really care to leave that hanging, you know? Let's actually start with the bridge because... Uh, gosh, I should probably start with the bridge. Why did I leave this... Oh wait, no, it's because it's right here, right? I forgot. We're gonna use the power of shift tiling. I don't know what the official term is called, but I'm gonna call it shift tiling. Because I can, I suppose. This is a large rock in the water. Well, we, should actually, we should also uh, actually uh, build upon the water. Um, is that actually valid ground? Okay, yes, this is valid ground. So you can stand on there, just wondering. Uh, I do need to make these ridges and stuff. How do you even do rocks in this, okay? I'm not trying to know how. Yeah, I know how. Okay. Take this. One next to the bridge. Something like this. This is supposed to be rocks, but since I don't want the player to move across it, I'm gonna be uh, just putting some water there. Put some water here. Oh, yeah. I know, I don't know how to explain that. I already explained it, but yeah, I did make this earlier in one of my games. I'll probably show a picture of that in the beginning of the video. But that's about it. I don't think I measured this very well. Um, three to right. Something like this. This is actually... Oh, it is definitely a lot more wider. But I don't think it really matters too much. It shouldn't really matter that much, actually. Well, it matters a little bit to me. <laughs> uh, maybe I should extend this a little bit. I'll extend it a little bit. For accuracy, say, because that's what I've been doing this entire series. I'm gonna go 23. So we're gonna move... Or we're gonna move this water part. Oh wait, the grass is actually supposed to be all the way to the end. So there's that. It's 
something like that. Get some of the grass all the way down here. That did not move the bridge at all, actually. Well, that moved it one tile, and that's not enough tile. So we're gonna move it all the way to the end. Hmm. We're actually we're gonna have to do this again. That's a three tile gap. That's not what I want, really. Copy this. Well, I gotta copy this. Does that look right? Yeah, it actually looks right, surprisingly. <laughs> um, yeah. That's how it looks like. Um, do this. There's like four tiles in between them. One, two, three, four. I have to extend this by one. Okay. It looks something like that. I should probably put rocks there, though. Maybe I'll just put rocks there. Like some other type of uh, impassable terrain. So I'm gonna put some logs there for some reason, and I'll put some water buckets here. Hooray, water buckets near water. So original. Um, okay, the water actually goes down a lot more on this end right here. So there's like terrain and stuff, and then we go two down, more to the edge. Uh, a few more tiles to the right. Three. Three more tiles, a little bit. Uh, like another stair right here. I don't really know how to explain these terms anymore. It has been a long time since the last recreated. And then they're slowly ascending to the bridge over here. So I'll do like this. Something like that. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me how accurate it is when it comes to water, uh, surf, or water, pieces of, bodies of water. Uh, let's work on the trail, because actually, the trail is not that bad. I should probably start with, with individual identification now, because I haven't done that yet at all. So I'm gonna go picture by picture now. There's a bit of trail right here. I don't know why there's a bit of trail here, but you know, I'll work something. I'll work something out with that. I'll work something out with that. It's actually, the only trail on the on below the bridges, and that's kind of funny. Well, not haha -ha funny. But more so, some other kind of funny. I don't know why I quoted. I think it's victorious. I don't know why I quoted victorious there. It's strange. I haven't watched that shit in a long time. I don't really intend to watch it, or at least on my own, like... I wouldn't watch it, like, I wouldn't binge watch it at least. Probably watch it occasionally. Because of free streaming services. Well, it's not really free, it's not a streaming service really. I guess Pluto's not really a streaming service. Um, I wanna extend this out here. Yeah, yeah, but this extends a little bit more down. Which, that looks weird actually, but we'll fix it later. <laughs> if you can't do it now, fix it later. Okay, now I'm gonna go over our uh, bird's eye view. Two, 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 two. One, one. This is not gonna. This is not gonna make sense to anyone unless you're watching the actual photos. We're gonna go three tiles right here with trail. Then we're gonna extend this all the way to, up to the bridge. We'll probably make, make the trails and the bridges connect soon, but otherwise, yeah, we're going with that. There's actually no trails on on, on outside of the map. Actually, that's very interesting. That's actually pretty new, and we haven't done that yet before. Uh, going to bottom left, there's actually a there's actually a few trees here. You know, I give trees and MZ a bad or a bad name, but no, they're not that bad. Something like this. 
Uh, there are some bushes right here. Actually, the trees extend... I'm looking at this right now. There's not that many trees, but the trees only go up to like... They only start like right here, and go up to right here. So that's fine. Also, I was actually making a map. I think it was a map in MV recently. Yeah, it was a map in MV. Not for my main project, for something else that I'm not gonna really work on anymore. But basically, like, I wish MV had the MZ feature of putting background objects behind objects. That'd be amazing. Like, it is so good. Um, okay, there are thickets right here. Which I can't really put in because I'm literally merging the trees and stuff. Otherwise, I have to move the trees down by one. So we're gonna make this height one lower. And we're gonna move this down because that's how we how we do things here. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know. It's strange. I apologize. Uh, there's actually a large fence right here. It goes all the way to this end. Well, the left side. Well, actually, it borders these trees right here. Well, I think this was the missing space here because the boss has to stand somewhere. Actually, no, the boss stands in front of it. I think we're fine. No, there's, there's an opening. There's an opening, actually. Uh, I'll make the opening. I'll make this fence one more longer to make it uh, odd numbered, and we'll make an opening right there. So people can escape, because the point of this map is to escape through this entrance here. Or, I guess, an exit, because you're escaping. I don't know anymore. <laughs> um, so, more trees, anyone? Because there are quite a bit of trees on this side. Try five of them in a row right there, as well as one above. Now we go back to our, our bird's eye overview. That is a very weird formation of trees. Okay, um... We're gonna put one right here and call it a day. I don't mind that there's missing space here. It's it's really fine, actually. I'll put a... Bushes, that's right, bushes don't look good like that. We'll fix the trees and maybe replace some bushes or something later. To be honest, there's not much to this map. We're gonna add our... Lots and plentiful amounts of bushes up here because literally almost every one of these grass tiles that we put down earlier, you see, are supposed to be bushes or trees. I'm making them all bushes. Wait, can I just do this? Ooh, nice. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna call it tape by doing that though. We're gonna replace some of the flower bushes. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me which ones get turned into flower bushes, but we are getting closer to our final stages of this chapter because this chapter is just that bland. I wish I was kidding. It is just that bland. Oh, also, I started playing 100% Oranges recently because the Runaway guys started playing it. And, you know, it's a really fun game. I haven't played that much of it. I played two games. I won my first online match just by joining in at a bad time, but you know, I still won. I was level one, by the way, and I dominated. And I'm still proud of that. And I won my first story map, so I'm two for two, but all in ones are the only ones that matter, so I'm two for... Actually, there's some bushes right here. The problem is I don't know if I can estimate it because of this weird design, you know? There's one tree up to from here. And there's a few trees on the side here. Now if we go up four from this uh, bridge. One, two, three, four. And we put a tree right here. And there's like quite a bit of trees here. Let's add some trees right there. Well, there's actually a lot of trees here. Um, we're actually going to wrap around something like this. You'll see why I left an opening there. I'm just going to extend this all the way up, because why not? You know, I don't appreciate the fact that I have to put, I put all bushes right here, but maybe that's because I put grass underneath all of it. So I'll I'll do something with the bushes, maybe I'll remove some of them, you know, by some stuff, and now we're actually gonna get to the actual base of our map making, which is making everything look nicer. 
and that tree's dead. Wow. Hooray. Pollution. I don't support pollution. Well, I guess I don't support pollution when you think about it. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, um, we're gonna add lots more trees because, you know, gotta spice things up a bit. Trees bored in the water, trees bored in the paths. You know, lots of trees everywhere make the world go round. And this is now becoming, uh, something where you support trees. <laughs> That's just what this video has just become, and it's strange. I'm gonna put a tree behind these pair. Not that. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna put a tree right here because that bush just looks lonely. These bushes just look lonely. Okay. They look very lonely. Um. We're gonna do that thing where I said that was I was gonna do earlier, which is connect these to the bridge. I'm gonna make this extend outwards so it doesn't look too weird. This one can stay. Uh. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do it on both sides. It just makes it. Strange when there's multiple exits. We're gonna make this go outside so we have actual escape points. We'll put in we'll put a few more normal trees, you know, scattered and about. I wanna put a big tree right there. Put some big trees here. Um doesn't really matter where we put them because there's already enough greenery over here on this side. No kidding. There's quite a bit of greenery. I'm just saying. Uh, let's start by... Nah, let's add some more trees first. Um... We're gonna remove this trail because that trail just looks weird. I'll make this trail look like that. i make this trail a little bit wider. Don't know why they left it like that, but okay. We're gonna start adding lily pads in the water because we gotta make it look nicer. Cause I always put water I've always put lily pads in my water. For some reason. I should just put floral patches everywhere. I haven't used floral patches that much. And I really should. It's really nice. Uh, floor element. Floor. 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 Tile. <laughs> Don't know why it took me so long to land on that word, but floor tile. Okay, as for this, we're actually gonna, we're gonna deal with the bushes right now. Um, can make some of these empty. That's one way to fix it. But we also want to make them... Like some of them change. Like we're probably gonna make some of these on the border here turn into just grass. There it looks slightly better. It still doesn't look that good on the top here though. So we're gonna do this the hard way, but later. Twenty minutes. We're not bad. We're not. We're not looking too shabby on time. Um, we're gonna put this tree here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put another tree in general here. It still looks okay. It still looks like it would a tree could fit there. So we're leaving it there. We're gonna put a campfire. I think I decided. I decided this really early on from just looking at this map, but we're gonna put a campfire right there. A campfire that's actually still there because no one put it put, threw away the sticks in the sand pits of the campfire. So that's okay. I still don't get how this is a ledge. How is this a ledge? Someone tell me that's a ledge because it doesn't look like a ledge. It looks like it looks like a sand pit that you land into. So I'm gonna put we're gonna put areas around the sand, the the campfire. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll maybe we'll just put the sand pit or the campfire, not sand pit, the campfire on it, so it looks okay, I guess. 
Um, we'll put some more water buckets. We'll put one water bucket somewhere. That looks not strange. Maybe next to the other water buckets. Maybe we'll see that later. Put some barrels here. You always need barrels. I'm gonna put a tree stump here. Well, no, I'll put a dead tree there. And by dead tree, I mean log, because logs exist. I haven't seen a log in a long time, though. Well, it's not- is it a log? Yeah, fallen log. I had never, I have never seen a fallen log in quite a bit. <laughs> Takes me back to the old days when I went to science camp. Quite a bit ago, though. Fifth grade, actually. Which isn't that quite a bit ago. As some people may think. But yeah, 100% well, War is just really fun game. Mario Party with cards. It's super cute. It's super fast paced actually. Everyone just wants to play in 4 or 3 speed. It's just <laughs> it's just normal there, but I can handle 4 or 3 speed at least. Even though I literally just started the game. If I had some friends who play it, then I could and if I could convince them to play on 2 speed, I wouldn't mind that. Cause if anything it would give me a break from the 3 and 4 speeds. I say this now, but when I go back in and play the game, I'm probably going to get clobbered on 2 4 speed. Maybe only- now that I think about it, maybe only one because it's a luck based game. <laughs> uh, I only- I don't go for the win condition, I go for the KO, I mean the star condition. So that's probably why you can probably tell that I don't really- I mean I don't really fight that much. <laughs> And again, the map I was playing on was the city one, and the city one is very big. You very rarely encounter people at all. Uh, we need to put more plants everywhere. It looks nice right now, yes, but it could be nicer. What time are we at now? 27. That's only been 4 minutes since the last checked. It's too early to check. Come on, Rainfire. Step up your game. <laughs> Actually, I did, uh, in my original map, put like a chest on this, on the water here. Oh, that reminds me, I need to put a rock, a giant, enormous rock there. You can't, if you could bring the mountain tiles from other tile sets in here, that'd be great. But I'm just gonna represent it by this segment of rocks. I'm gonna put some rocks on the water. Like normal people do. Well, rocks can be on the water, yes. Speaking of rocks on water, Paper Mario Origami King is a game that I'm trying to complete right now. And the Eddy River is legitimately one of the worst things I've ever played because it it's annoying that you have to get all the coins. I mean, I haven't tried getting all the coins too much, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> but man, when I finally start getting to- because you need a tro to get a trophy, you have to do that. You also have to survive the area when you try to get the other coins. Oh, I also did try, uh, what's it called? Scuffle Island? Because I got the tap point. Scuffle Island's pretty vicious, actually. I gave up after the fourth one. Which, I was trying to go after the third one, but I just, I want to keep my money. And, I don't know why I continue to keep money. But after the third one, I wanted to quit, but then apparently hitting back. Well, basically I stayed in for one more, and I didn't want to. So I just fought another one and I won, but I escaped immediately. When I get more health, I'll go back and fight them, because you need it for a trophy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking this map because it's simpler than the other ones. Oh, also, if you haven't seen, speaking of simple, my intro has definitely become a lot simpler now because this video is going to be uploaded after my intro is uploaded. My outro, of course. I actually just changed the image and also, yeah, just, I actually just changed the images. Intro is just a five second intro sequence and I quite like it, it's clean, but for some people's taste, it might be too simple, too easy to make. <laughs> I 
Putting more trees would be nice because that would make it... I'll have a little bit more life into it. Now I have allergies. Great. I love allergies. Put the trunk right next to the wood because that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm gonna put the signpost here. For some reason I like putting signposts. I don't know why. You tell me. You probably can't. Uh, I mean, yeah. You probably can't. I don't know why I like playing signposts. If I don't know, who else would? Question mark, question mark. I'm gonna put some pitfalls because I like them pitfalls. And I keep calling it pitfalls. Also, is there really any point with this tile right here? Is there really any point? Maybe I'll put some, like, fruits assortments on the right here. Like, food. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll put, like, uh, a scarecrow. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think we're just gonna add a few more trees, maybe. I don't like- this is probably my least favorite map I've made so far, but also it's one of my- it's also one of my more- more favorite maps. So it's both. I don't know how it can be both, but you know what? I'm not gonna question it too much, because sometimes questioning things gets you more trouble than trouble than you might ever believe. I would know. Uh, I wish there was a flower tree option, because I'm pretty sure trees can have flowers, like blossoms and stuff. And that'd be nice, but we only get flower bushes, and you know, that, that doesn't make me very happy. There's cat's eye. We also dead grass. Fantastic. We also giant mushrooms. You know, in an area like this, I don't think there'll be giant mushrooms. Also, next chapter is an indoor map, and that's gonna be interesting. Isn't that gonna be the first indoor map we have? Yeah, actually, that is gonna be the first indoor map we have. Put more flowers everywhere. Flowers make the world go around. More trees. Hmm. Fine, I'll put a tree here. It doesn't look good next to the other trees, but whatever. That's how we're gonna deal with it. I'm gonna put a flower bush right here. This area has a lot of flowers, and I realize. I'm gonna put a tile on the escape route, because why not? I like the trail there better, actually. Okay, I, I find this funny that you have to go all the way to the end. All the way to the other side. To pick up wood for your campfire, so you need to, go, you need to walk all the way back. That's just a funny image, and I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, yeah there are way too many... Floor, uh, floor elements than I'd like to than I like to have actually. I put a tree there for good measure, but I don't really need it. I'd like to put another tree somewhere. I guess I'll put it right here and place the water buckets. <laughs> we just have uh, a tree, a bush, and another tree next, right next to each other, and that just looks weird. Like I'd love for more areas to put more trees, but there's not any more areas that can put trees.
not like there's any ledges either, so I can't really go crazy with like tree stacks. I love them tree stacks in the previous maps. It's amazing. Uh, I did watch finish it off very soon. There's something about the bottom that I just don't like, and something about the top actually. How much time we're looking at? 35. We can probably shoot for 40. Um, so let's let's go with like like some grass somewhere. You know, as if we didn't have enough grass anyways in the first place, but. If I put grass right next to a fire, uh, campfire, you think it's gonna explode? Not explode, but it's catching fire. Maybe I shouldn't have put trees right next to the campfire. Um, so we're gonna put some more lily pads because why not? I want, this this water is looking a little bare. Is there dark water? There's no dark water in outside, isn't there? That's sad. Oh, uh, actually, there's, there's one thing I want to do, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. So, it's 23. You gotta remember that. Oh, that looks basically the same, actually. Okay, I removed something, and I don't know what I removed. Cause you can't- I don't think you can undo, uh, the changes. <laughs> We're pretty close to being finished, but I'm gonna add some more trees. Put more than one on top of each other, it doesn't work like that. Right now, we just have a tree right next to a bush, right next to another big tree, and then a rock. What's next? We put laws right next to it. That makes total sense, right? We're gonna put some more of this normal grass, not the grass patches. Patchwork Staccato it is a good song. Of course, if you don't listen to Vocaloid, you might not think so. Hmm, the water buckets make it too convenient to put up the campfire, so maybe I'll make the people work for it. So put it all the way on the opposite side of the map. <laughs> That actually sounds pretty hilarious, but I'm gonna put it right next to camp wood. Camp wood. Yep, that's what it's called. Not lumber. Not bundles of wood. Nope, camp wood. I'm gonna hide it right, right, right behind this tree here. Alright, I think that's what we're gonna go with here. Um, I know there's a lot of bushes in the top left, but, you know, I think this map co is coming out very well. And by coming out, I mean it's over. Yes, this map recreate is over. Uh, I'll be preparing many videos in the following week and scheduling them because I will be occupied with something, basically. I'll tell you about it when, I, when I'm finished with it, but... And no, it's not working on a game in RPG Maker. Well, I might. We'll see. But that's not going to be done for a very long time. We're not even close. We haven't even basically started. I'm writing the story right now. Inspiration is still coming to me. Alright, so with that said, this episode's over. I'm getting a headache and I have allergies. Okay. With that said, this episode... There's no need for me to delay it because there's no outro sequence for option bigger videos. Alright, see you guys and stay safe. Maybe there will be a tutorial next week, but see you guys and stay safe.